It's Henry. And it's Jacob. And today, we're going to be reviewing and going over the Gringotts Wizarding Bank and stating our opinions on it. And so, first impressions, people might think that it looks kind of trippy almost because of the bottom thing. But we're going to be going into why we think that that's not much of an issue. So, so make sure to watch until the end to see our thoughts about it. At first, I could definitely see why you would think that this isn't the greatest looking set. You can definitely tell that on the bottom there is a rail that might look weird at first, but if you separate these or you keep it together depending on how you want to display it, I think that this set is the best they could have done. If you look at the box specifications. So it says that there it's 18 plus set obviously with 4,803 pieces and it is set number 76417 and yeah I think Jacob said they did the best they could with it so taking out the 360. And I really see, like, similarities to the Boutique Hotel. It does have an open back, which I'm completely fine with because it's going to be against the wall. And it, it does remind me of the Boutique Hotel a lot, just with how it's shaped. And I think it's a really clever build. Probably would be worth about 180 maybe alone because there's an open back. Looking at this picture here, when I did go to Harry Potter Land, they had that on the top, that little dragon. So I would say it's you know, accurate to real life, I guess, but I think it looks great. So I do plan on putting this in the amusement park when I do get Diagon Alley, so that that will be awesome. Then you can see the back here, you can see some more of those interior details, which we'll go into later, and more of that mechanism as it's going down. And so at the bottom here, you can see that there's actually a vault that can be opened by these troll guys, and it would be awesome in an amusement park to have them going down that rail as like a ride almost. And I do love that detail. And this next one is an interior shot, so you can see what it will look like on the interior. I don't know if this is the entire interior. No, it's yeah, the bank. It's, it's not, but it's the bank. I think I think it looks good. Um, uh, I like it's the accurate to the movie. And here are all the minifigures. I really like all these minifigures. I don't know all their names off the top of my head. I only watched four of the movies, but I think that they gave us a lot of great minifigures, and I'm glad about that. There are 13 minifigures. Also some coins, which are great. Maybe you could put those in the vault back of the box. And so one of the main things that we wanted to talk about here... So as I, could, as I was trying to say earlier, uh, we have this little mechanism at the top... So you can see that it is a bit of an overhang. So if you wanted, Jacob, if he wanted to do the, like, amusement park kind of thing he was trying to do, he could cut off that top part, and then it could be like a little ride down to the bottom. I don't know if that's important. It might be. But if not, I think that might be a good idea. Yeah, and also I do like the how it's just on a base plate there. And that's it together. Looks really big great on the I, I like how I like that roller coaster pieces and how you can ride it all the way down to the vault and here's a lifestyle image image of that with of Gringotts with Diagon Alley I cannot wait this is gonna look amazing with Diagon Alley and especially like if you just if you want to do an amusement park with this or just straight up put it in the city you can find other uses for that like under part it's literally Harry Potter land so yeah it's the exact same thing and so that is pretty much it for our overview of this set. Stay tuned if we buy it or not. I think we will eventually, just not soon, because, I mean, it's coming out September 4th, and also we'll wait a while until it retires. So thank you guys so much for watching, and tune in for another one.